Hi, Scott Bruder here. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been seeing a lot of videos on the internet about splicing coax TV cable together. And the best way to properly do it is with a couple compression fittings and a F81 splice. Um, but, you know, a lot of people don't have the tools to do this right. So I'm going to show you my best recommendation if you're in a pinch. And let's just start with your cutting out in the flower bed and... You cut the line and it's never going to be uh, straight it's never going to be clean this one's a little too clean thank you tin snips what you want to do is you want to take yourself a pocket knife razor blade and a pair of diagonal cutters if you have any available if you don't have any diagonal cutters just i guess any any small set of snips that'll allow you to true up that connection will be good now what I would say is, you know, cut them clear off, uh, but what we want to do is we want to save as much of that grounding as possible. So I'm going to show you the trick. And like I said, please, please comment. If you guys don't like this, or if you think it's something that a, a home user who's in a bind that can't actually um, wait until the cable company comes uh, should do, let me know. So what I'm going to do is carefully take off the outside sheathing. And I'm going to pull back the ground braid. And what I'm going to then do is I'm going to cut this. It's called a dielectric. And let's see if this is in focus here. It's a dielectric foam that, wow, talk about not wanting to focus. Thanks. Thanks, camera. Well, way back, the dielectric foam that wraps around the center conductor. So then I'm going to cut off the dielectric and give it a little twist when you do this and it should pull away right from the, the center conductor. And you'll see the little copper pin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on both sides. So there's one side, same thing on the other side. I'm going to just strip it lightly, just enough to get that outside sheathing off. And I want to take a little bit more. Perfect. Same thing here. Let's peel back the grounding braid. Let's get rid of any extra plastic we need. And then I'm going to take off that dielectric foam, making sure that at no point I short out the outside grounding against the center pin. So we'll just... Because the key here is to have... 75 ohm resistance between that center conductor and the ground. Now, if we take a look right here, I've uh, messed up and I've got a little bit of, of the ground close to the pin. So I'm just going to use my nail and move that out. And I'm going to use my nail to push down the dielectric around the outside of the pin. Now, remember, we're only doing this because... You cut the line, and the cable company can't come out until Tuesday. So, here, here is the key. What we want to do is we want to take those two center conductors, and we want to, we want to get that connectivity there. But what we're going to do is we're going to put them side by side, and we're going to use that dielectric material to hold the two pins close together. So, we're going to line them right back up, get them squished side by side so there's contact. And we're going to push forward so that those two copper pins slide into the foam around the other side. So we'll go here and here. So now we've got the two pins touching and we have opportunity to make that ground wire touch each other. So... We've now got the ground wire, and we're going to just interfurl them with each other. And then, of course, electrical tape. You can use duct tape, you can use whatever you have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and wrap it tight. Is this probably going to be outside or in a situation where it will get wet? So tape it up. 
tape it down. And then, you know what, if you've got electrical tape to spare, like tape it, tape it, tape it well, tape it six inches down either way. So what I'm going to do now is just to show that there's connectivity, I'm going to take just a normal multimeter and I'm going to put it on the conductivity sound uh, mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the grounding on this. So we're going to go ground to ground, ground to ground, done. And then what we're going to do, and this is just for testing, so I'm going to do the same thing and stick the probe right beside the center conductor. And do the same thing on the other side, and we should have connectivity here. So now we have connectivity on both the center conductor and the ground. This is not a long-term fix, but this is a much better fix than using a couple of electrical uh, wire nuts and twisting the center pins together and the grounding together because it's going to give you a better resistance between that center conductor and the outside grounding. Please comment and let me know what you think. Um, tell me if you think there's a better quick solution for people who don't have access to a cable technician for a couple days. Um, let me know and thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, bring to me your technical problems. I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you. Have a good day.